For now, though, let's meet uh, Benjamin Zulu. Karibu sana to the show. Asante. Chief Nimrembo. <laughs> Murembo sana. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Benjamin, we want to talk about dating a successful woman. Mm -hmm. And this, I think, is a topic that scares a lot of both men and women, right? Mm -hmm. Some women feel like now they have to stop being who they are or let go of some of their dreams and successes. But then, of course, there are many men who are intimidated by a successful woman. And perhaps then, because of all those factors, dating a successful woman is maybe not an easy task. Um, a man will either go two ways when he meets a successful and driven woman. Again, he will either be intimidated by her or then he will try and exploit her. It's like those are some of the two options and maybe even try and hold her back. Would you relate to those two? Do you tend to see those as sort of results of dating yeah. successful In fact, women? Two, 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 two responses when men are faced with a great woman, and I like the way you put it, that there's that type of man who will cringe and be afraid and try to put her down. If in his mind, he thinks a submissive woman should be below him mm. financially. Mm. But there's another type of men. They want to introduce you to them because they are not loud and they're not mm. spoken of in media. <laughs> the mm. weaker men are more spoken of mm. because they're making news for all the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. There's another type of men. I call them the caucus of great men. Uh -huh. We have a name for our club. Okay. <laughs> it's a quiet club. Okay. You are not welcome. You're not a man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> but you're happy, of course he is. <laughs> hey, Hicks. <laughs> this is how we think, those kind of men. We have very big goals in life and yeah. aspirations that um, really consume us. Mm -hmm. And when we look for a helper, we look for a woman who has, who has capacity to help us get there faster. Mm -hmm. So we don't look for an average woman. In okay. fact, when I was dating, I told my girl I wanted to be a billionaire in a certain number of, number of years and I watched her carefully to see her response. Mm -hmm. Calmly. To see whether she would <laughs> or be sarcastic. <laughs> Or ridicule it. Uh -huh. I mentioned the figure. If you can't figure out what is billion Kenya shillings, it's ten million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. But she was calmly and say, "Yeah, that's possible." Because if you are becoming my helper, I want to give you your job description. Right. These great men are looking for a woman who can take him to his big goals. So the one identifier of men who love great women is this. They have consuming big goals in life and they're looking for a woman who can help them achieve it. Mm. That woman should not only be a domestic helper but helper financially. Mm. Who, we have, who has a mind for making money. Mm. Mind for managing huge flow of amounts of money and building an empire. Mm -hmm. We don't want just, just to make a living. Yeah. I, I don't work to make a living. I want to make a fortune. Yeah. I want to build a legacy that I can pass on. So this, the type of women who want a great uh, type of men who want a great woman are those who have so big goals that they can't accomplish it with, a, with, a, with an average woman. Now, <laughs> the problem with this kind of uh, women is they don't know who they are and they keep mingling with average men and ultimately they get disappointed and they give up. These successful women. Women. Hmm. They are so unique and they are meant for those men who operate on their wavelength. Thinking as such like uh, frequency modulation FM. Mm -hmm. I'm an AM. Mm -hmm. If you are FM, you can't cap catch AM stations. Thinking and waves of thoughts and ambitions in life and the kind of energy you have has a certain kind of people whom you can relate with. Mm -hmm. So these kind of women I want to announce to them, number one, you don't belong to the normal, ordinary boy walking around the street trying to make a living. Mm. Because you, you are after making a fortune. Already, by the time you're that you're early, that is early, to, somewhere mid-twenties, you are on your way to making a fortune. Any man who is intimidated tells you he does not belong to your wavelength. Stop trying to squeeze yourself to fit there. Wow. So how to date a great man? Number one, a great woman, number one, you must be a successful man yourself. Even if it's not evident in your circumstances. Mm. I told you some of us, the reason it takes us long to climb, we are climbing from negative 100 meters. <laughs> So you've been successful, but you've just figured negative one. So it's just see, that for us, it doesn't look successful. Yes, I don't know your history, but success. looking at you, your parents set you at least on sea uh, level. You did not start on too many negatives. I can't see them. I can't see the evidence. If it's there, you have already covered it up. But some of us are coming from behind. Mm. We, we started on negatives. We had to pay help loans. We had to climb up, educate our siblings before we start building anything. Mm. <laughs> we even take care of our parents. Mm. <laughs> so some of us are coming from, but we are moving so fast. You can see within a number of years, we'll be ahead. So part of what, how you identify a man who is suitable for you as a great woman is a man who has a mindset for greatness, mm -hmm. not just making uh, a living, paying bills. There are many people who they're doing a good business, but they just want, the moment they, make their, they pay their bills, break even, uh, mm -hmm. they relax, they let up on their energy. Mm -hmm. But successful women have such a drive. Mm -hmm. 
that they can live with a million in their account and they don't remember it. You know you're dealing with a small-minded man when he can't sit with a million in the account. He will go betting, he will go doing <laughs> things, he will go drinking. <laughs> he will go... People keep praying, God give me money. But God can't trust them with the money. When they have 20K, they don't come home. <laughs> they spend out because they have 20K. Until the money runs out. Mm. It's a mindset. Above your faith, the next thing that determines is your mindset. Remember all the 12 spies believed in God. Only two believed in themselves. Mm. All the other 10 thought they were grasshoppers. When you think like you are a grasshopper, you never occupy the promised land. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, how to date a great woman, number one, I want to, to comfort men. Don't be intimidated mm -hmm. by a successful woman. There are some things in, in women that don't change, even if they become millionaires. Number one, she's still a girl inside. That's right. She's still, I tell you, there are needs in women that cannot mm -hmm. be met by money. Like love, attention, cherish her. Support her in the ups and downs of life. Mm. Talk at the end of the day. Just talk simply, normally. Take stories. Ch check our day wars. Just relax there. T talk stories. She doesn't remember her status. <laughs> when she's just talking and having, have, catching up on the day with her friend. Mm. Chatting up and in, the, in the middle of the day. I was just thinking of you. Have a good day. That puts a smile on her. Even mm -hmm. if she's handling, she's being called lady boss everywhere. Mm -hmm. There are some things in a woman that don't change. Irrespective of her economic status. Right. Only childish men think a woman changes by getting money. When you hear a woman, a man say, that's a stupid guy. Doesn't understand this kind of men or kind of women. They don't. In fact, money doesn't change people. It just magnifies who you were. A submissive woman remains submissive with money or without it. Mm. Number two, that other, the, thing, the, the other thing that a woman can give herself is male leadership. <laughs> Please understand this. Go to her to events, to your family, and show this is my woman. Mm. Protect her, this is my woman. Introduce. Yeah. yeah. That, that thing she can't give herself. Mm -hmm. She can't hire a guy to act that part. Her employees, her staff, her cars can't do that. Her money can't act that. Mm -hmm. Male leadership is that thing that is completely the monopoly of men. I don't know why they don't get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if you are a garage, you run a garage, you're a mechanic and she's a CEO. And you walk up with her and say, hey guys, meet my, yeah, this is my wife. And when you're doing that and say, hey, this is my family in events, this is my family, take leadership, talking on behalf of the family, show right. up, show leadership. The other part of showing leadership is formalize things. Don't be tentative and wishy-washy and undecided with a, with a powerful woman. She wants decisiveness. <laughs> Don't start saying, oh, I'm open-minded. Let's see how things will go. Fool. <laughs> <laughs> you must show leadership. <laughs> You see, what matters for a woman Oy. is not the money she has, it's her values. If she has family values, if she's, if she's willing to be under you, you show leadership. If she's willing to, to build a home with you, if she's willing to balance her life and serve you as the wife, that's all. Well, let me ask you this, Benjamin, because you said for someone to be able to date a successful woman, they also need to be successful themselves. Does that manifest financially? Because I know you've said some people are starting from negative. But I think the challenge still for a lot of people is that they want to be able to see the success. Thank you. Let me how are you defining this success? When I was talking those crazy figures of billions with my wife, I had no table. <laughs> eh? I was living in a house that looked like a cage. <laughs> you had to beat several corners down as if you got into the river, then you come back, they, they skip, <laughs> then you get in. Uh -huh. It was not evident materially. Yeah. Sometimes success is showed by mentality. That's right. You need to see a man's energy, belief in him, himself, how he drives. Mm -hmm. He has no signs of insecurity. Mm -hmm. The biggest sign of a small mindedness is insecurity. A man who begins to suspect and behave funny yeah. when he sees you around people. So all these guys who've been out here getting loans for cars they cannot afford to pay just because you think that that's what's going to make that's you That's not even a red flag. It's a red duvet. Uh, okay. <laughs> If you see a man trying to... Basically, it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. If a man is always on, a, on, on, on loans and negatives, he does not know himself. Mm. You need a man who is comfortable in the, where he is, and yet he is patiently aggressive, moving and moving and stretching. Mm -hmm. Let me continue with your other qualities, what you can provide to your woman. Okay. I said provide leadership, the male leadership. She cannot provide that for herself. Yeah. Uh, introduce, in so give her the cover socially. Women want to say, my man did this. That's important for women. <laughs> you know, and then, and then, she might be the one financing the car, doing many things, but a man needs to pay the rent. Mm. Don't sit there in the house. In fact, successful women can't stand laziness. Mm. It makes them want to vomit mm -hmm. because they're hardworking themselves. Mm. Another thing is be truthful and trustworthy. Mm -hmm. They don't care um, what happened. Just tell them what you feel. Yeah. Tell them what you think. And I must warn, if you date a successful woman, you must keep the company of other men who are dating successful women. 
That's yeah. important. Mm -hmm. If you keep the company of men who have this um, chauvinistic, age old, uh, you know, primitive ideas. Yeah. That has amazing yeah, ones. The boys are the ones who talk ill of women. Then they, thank you. And then they feed you with ideas that are cowardly. You lose the opportunity. And I want to tell you that most successful women start by dating hmm, those foolish men. So those of us who are looking for them must look inside relationships. <laughs> Ever wait, we need to take a break. <laughs> and you must look inside relationships. Inside. What does that Many mean? Many of them are in funny relationships. <laughs> wait, what does that mean? Some of them are dating funny people and it won't go anywhere. So I hang around waiting for them to break up and I pick up from there. Uko on the sidelines, uko ready. Because they are rare and a guy is trying to give her stress and I'm waiting for her to, to learn. They are going nowhere and come to me. Henry, it's a secure guy to do that too. I Someone else is dating her but you're just there. I know like they're not preparing. going anywhere and I know she's a rare specimen. The fool doesn't know. I hang around. <laughs> I become a friend. I prove myself and I wait patiently. Oh my goodness, we need to take a break, guys. <laughs> uh, Benjamin Zulu is here. Aki Jameni, wo meta my boy shout wengi leo fool na stupid. Uta apologize. <laughs> but guys, we're going to take a break and then we'll be back with Benjamin here talking about how to date a successful woman. Uh, please send in your feedback uh, to double two triple nine. I'd love to know what you guys think about this topic and we'll see you soon. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show and uh, thank you again for your feedback and your company. Uh, someone here saying, hey Joyce, the topic is hot, you need a fire extinguisher. That's Helen from Mombasa. Asante. Me, I just need a bucket of water. I don't need no fire extinguisher. I need a bucket. I'm an ipewe hose. I need to magilia Benjamin Maji. But uh, Jerry Kamau from LD says, um, uh, about the topic nowadays, men like dating successful women so that they can ride on her money. Wanome Wasikwizi are very lazy. They like such women to feed them. Um, wow, okay. Uh, Cliff from Kerugoya says, I don't think it's good because you'll be under the woman no matter what. And she will definitely treat you as a nobody since she's the boss. So those are two differing opinions there. One from a lady saying a lot of these men are just trying to take advantage of the woman's success. They become lazy. <laughs> okay. And then Cliff is saying, actually, there's no way a, a man should date a successful woman. Because he's saying... Can I, can I talk to that guy? Please don't. Don't try it. They are not meant for guys who think like you. <laughs> Save oh yourself the embarrassment. Inachoma. <laughs> <laughs> So you, he, he, no, so you teach him then. It's not for him. He is not asking for guidance. He's declaring his stand that he cannot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm asking him not to. You save yourself. <laughs> yes. Because, as I said, one thing, eh? as a man, you marry according to where you are going in life. Let's start there. Okay. You don't go according to who you ended up marrying. It's just a mm. reverse order. Mm. Decide where you're going in life. Look for a woman who can take you there. Mm. That's where we are starting. Mm -hmm. And girls, when you date guys, ask them, I'm coming to be a helper. You are a helper. What's my job description? This is basically like, you know, like when Eliud Kipchoge was doing Ineos. This is like choosing your pacemakers. Thank you. Mm. So I'm saying, once a man decides what he wants, let him pick out a woman who can fit that job description. Who can run that race with him. And I, I did not come here to ask all of us to marry great women. Where are they? They are few. Mm. <laughs> they are few. Mm. <laughs> so the thing is, in fact, I, I finished on a point that you are asking me. Are you sure that's not controversial? I was telling you that most, most good women are in funny relationships. They are not alone. Somebody had already seen her value. Mm -hmm. And although he does not have what she needs. He can't match up to it. Yes. He pretended so. Or even the girl herself, she was too young to know that she's different. Mm. So she dated just anybody who was around. Mm. As they go along, the thing did not work. Now, those kind of women, when, when I was dating, my sister told me, good girls are hardly alone. So don't start by asking her whether she's dating. Don't start with that. 
just befriend her get, get to see whether she is okay going okay, along with you. yes and learn actually she will start telling you what she's experienced the other relationship just be a friend don't act a judge just be a friend so that when you are still in her mind like an alternative when that thing fails you'll have a, a better way because you are proven yourself at being patient when you are not assured of the chances mm -hmm. okay so i'm saying th this this kind of women have a very strong presence mm -hmm. and only a man who was looking for her who was looking for that kind of a woman? Mm. My prayer, my frustration. Joyce, I dated many girls, and many of them I was overqualified for them. Mm -hmm. I mean this in no all humility. Mm -hmm. But one girl, after we dated, I realized I had it overheated. She asked me, Was that an exam? What? <laughs> oh God, was that an exam? <laughs> I said, Did I interrogate people's daughter? <laughs> I went and did some self soul search. Oh, dear. After reviewing the whole conversation, I realized it's because we are on different levels. The things I was, the things I was talking were too high. She was already intimidated by the fact that I was a lawyer. Okay. And, I, and I, I don't remember that I am turned lawyer. I just was looking for a partner to do life with. Ah, yeah, Benjamin, you are a lawyer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my first training is law, but then I moved to psychology. I have a degree in all that. Okay, okay. <laughs> so there are people who suspect your profession already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they hear your media person. I know you guys. Mm -hmm. mm, I know you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they come you with know, a bias. And you're like, from where? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm different. Right. Joyce, look at you. It's now that you're learning my profession and we have already worked so much with you. Yeah. Which means it's not the profession that makes me. It's me who makes it. Right. right, right. <laughs> I mold everything in my life to what I want. So what, what I need to, advise, to, to encourage brothers is decide what you want in life. If I, if I have a sitting with the guy who texted there and I want to know what he wants to achieve in life, I can end up showing him that only a great woman can help you achieve that. Right. So ukiwa na safari ya kuenda Mombasa, Utajipanga kawa utenda na tuk, 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 tuk. Thank you. Ama utapanda gari. Thank you. Four by four. As a man, don't start by the kind of one you want. Start right. with where you are going in life. Right, right. Okay. Th then describe what kind of woman can take you there. Mm. Joyce, I wanted to be a global person. I always wanted to do talks, inspire people all over the world. I didn't want a woman who cannot be left behind thinking I've gone with a woman. Now I've gone there, she's insecure. Who are you with in London? Let me show, show me, make a video call. I want to see you around there. Who is attending you? <laughs> I couldn't stand that. I'd seen it around. Yeah. It meant me yuck. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say to this one who is saying that, you know, a lot of men are, are trying to ride on women's success? Now, I wanted, to, she, she has observed the kind of men who don't belong to her league. That's a problem. Another problem, Joyce, who need a screen and teach these great women how to date. They're supposed to be very selective and to stop putting time limits. Okay. In fact, they should not, if you're a great woman, don't marry in your early 20s. Mm-hmm. Wait until at least who you are becoming has, has shown enough. Yeah. By then you are at least 25, 27, 28. Mm -hmm. It's okay to marry at 30. 33 is okay. It's very okay. It's very okay. Don't put deadlines because the person you are becoming is so unique. Mm. You need your flower to blossom first so that it is I visible. I really think women need to hear that message. I'd rather wait and do it right <sighs> Thank than you. rush and do Many it Many people marry early 20s are, are, are divorcing at early 30s. That's true. Because very they true. entered before, before, before their personality became... Yeah. And when you personally, so the reason you end up with a lazy man who is becoming a leech on you, who is a parasite on you, is because one, you had not learned to read character. So these women should learn first how to study character. You can see laziness from the word go. You can see insecurity, from, lack of drive, lack of energy. It's so visible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, <clears throat> Benjamin is opening my eyes as a young lady for sure. We don't have to get stuck with men who prove to be successful verbally. And he's without actions and the mentality of them is just flat. That's Frida watching the show. Now, Joyce, um, can I tell Frida also to check the, the company the guy keeps? Check who he hangs around. He is becoming that way. That's very true. That's where he is headed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If he keeps looking for great men to get advice from, if he keeps looking, calling up great people who are ahead of him, listening mm -hmm. conversations, he is headed in that direction. Mm -hmm. But if when he is free, he goes to Chiu Mira outside there with the guys of Boda Boda, with the egg vendors, no problem with egg vendors, but is that what you want yourself? In this life, you don't discriminate people, but you decide who you want for your team. Even if he's CEO and he's chewing Mira somewhere in a dingy kakona with who that's what he is becoming. Wow. Mtu <laughs> ananiitia zimamoto. 
Hey Joyce, great topic. Please, how will a man identify and know he is dating a successful lady? What factors should a man consider while dating? And the ca can the characters be seen at early stages of the relationship? Thank That's you for Jared that Kabigail from Saika Nairobi. Mambi Jared, thank you. Manze, nakupigia makofi. Thank you for asking a positive facing question. <laughs> Number one, that woman is very independent minded. Does not mean she's not relational, mm -hmm. but she has a lot of, um, she has initiative. She tries things on her own. Don't discourage that because that's the first element of, they end up finding something that works, finally. Mm -hmm. It's that it's a girl who invented this online insurance car. She, she was the first one. Mm -hmm. This company, a 26 year old girl. I imagine she had been trying many things from 18, 19, 20. By the time she's 26, she hits on something that works. Mm -hmm. She becomes a millionaire. Now suddenly you think, oh, she cannot be submissive. No, she's just, she has a lot of initiative. She has a fluid mind. She likes yeah. trying things. So check a girl who likes trying things. Another thing is that girl is not materialistic. She values your character. Mm -hmm. She values your honesty, communication, more than the money you have. She doesn't mind helping you pay anything. And I was telling those guys who marry uh, successful women to formalize things, pay with what you have. If you can only afford 10 gods, no problem. Prepare for that. You realize along the way she's chipping. When she sees what you're doing, many times they help you quietly. Mm. They don't even broadcast it. Mm. She does not want a big wedding. Do what you can afford. Mm. <laughs> do from what you can. Mm. If you're a mechanic, put effort with all the best you can. Do those things. With a, I have one guy I enjoy so much. That guy is my buddy, man. The wife is in southern Sudan. She got a job and come on the end of funny because we are young. We need money. <laughs> don't worry. Just work. Are we earning? Yes, we are moving. You will still come back ultimately. But, but the guy is driving a very small car. The girl can afford a Prado. Yeah. <laughs> driving a parcel. He's telling, man, I have to organize myself with what I have. Yeah. I'm building a house for my family. I'm a mortgage. I'm a family. The wife is so happy this guy is doing the best with what he has. Right. So I tell this Jared, that girl is independent, she has initiative. The other thing is, she, when, when you talk with that personality, she doesn't show her class. I can only fungoza gari in between the two of you to remind you that he's driving anything. <laughs> <laughs> She's driving anything. <laughs> she flows with you. So yeah. Jared, don't fear to show leadership. In, when you meet that kind of a girl, Jared, <laughs> insinuate yourself in your life so much that she believes you. Mm. Don't lose that girl. Okay. You will live to regret it. All right. Hey, Joyce, thanks for the great discussion. All queens out here, do not pluck jewels from your crown trying to come down to the level of an undecided man. Thank you. Let him level up. Oy, okay. That's Joy from Kerugoya. Eh, okay. <laughs> Leo, we've been inspected at Runaskia too, bitch. But good morning. Loving the show today. I'm not married yet, but trusting upon God and people in the office keep telling me, Sasa wewe uko na kazi, ume graduate, and you have your life in order, utapata mume wapi. This sometimes gets me thinking, what do you think I should do? I'm a lady who has this notion of bringing both our resources and making the best out of it together, and that's Christine. Christi and you know, honestly, I feel like all these people telling people, what are you doing with your life? When are you going to have this? When are you getting married? When are you having 17 children? It's not your business. Thank you. You focus on you. Do Christian, you have your life together? I, I teach girls how to date proactively. She needs to learn how to do conscious dating, mm. intentional dating, not the passive one. Because yeah. if you're passive, you're just waiting and hoping that somebody yeah. comes along. Yeah. Another thing is, you need to you need to know that people feel frustrated when they can't guess your life out. Mm -hmm. When they can't mm -hmm. know what is happening in your life. Very so they're true. trying to fit you into a mold they can understand. They're trying to make you behave in a way they can predict. So they think, they, they, they are fr they are disappointed that you're going to a path they can't predict. Mm. That's their disappointment. So why And oftentimes these guys don't have their lives together. So Thank you. I don't take advice from people I don't respect. You know, and I want her to develop, uh, uh, if she, I do coaching for those kind of women. And I told the, those ladies, in fact, it's were better to get your career in place before you get your family in place. Very true. I it was better to first establish the foundations of your career. Mm. So that as you marry, the person knows who they're dealing with and what kind of future you have. If you drive a small car and the guy is happy with that, even when you drive a bigger one, he won't be intimidated. Right. Then when you meet a guy who thinks a, a driving woman is, is unattainable. And also because there's this thing called regret. Because you don't want to wake up, you know, when you're there with your two kids and you're like 45 or something. And you're like, man, I wish I went to school. Regret is a real thing. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And, and th this lady, I want to tell her that. One, rid yourself of all the pressure from society. Mm -hmm. Develop a thick skin. Number two, develop a strategy for your dating. Dating should be practical and proactive, even for the woman. Okay. If you sit passively, you might be bypassed by time. But at the same time, don't cave to people's pressure. All right.
Okay. Um, Viola says, I'm currently reading A Woman's Influence by Tony and Sherry and relating what Benjamin is saying in the book. Women should know their standards and influence their man in a positive way. Absolutely. Um, hey, Joyce, uh, Benjamin is speaking the truth so boldly. And they say, ladies, 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 hope you're watching. I'm chama hapa. Full circle with Joyce chama. And she says, rushing into marriage because you're turned. Don't rush into marriage because you're turning a year older that's carol watching from eldoret um hey at most men are mama's boys let's say some men are mama's boys lazima wambiwe na mom or if they can date that person or not hmm. I, I think she's talking of the ones she has experienced eh? i don't want to tell her that the world is elijah please come yeah. out Talk and up also and actually i'm really glad you brought that <laughs> God is Elijah. I'm not one of them. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Sawa, boss. Sawa. But no, it's very true. Ladies, I think we need to also learn not to project our pain Thank and you. our hurt on everybody. Okay? So just because that one guy did something Does or that mean... one lady did something Thank doesn't you. mean that every other man or lady that is That conclusion like that. is pain That's oriented. also emotional maturity. Thank you. Absolutely, yeah. No, very important for us to do so. Um, I'm dating a man who's not ambitious. Aki, he can't do anything. Hatakum. <laughs> Why are you with him? Anyway, I'm dating a man who's not ambitious. Like he can't do anything. Hata kubai credo ya kunikol. Ati awezi bai credo ya kunikol. Ana please call. Ana <laughs> <laughs> <In a> flash. <laughs> Sasa jameri. <laughs> then why are you dating him? If you're not happy. The, can I tell you the biggest sin committed by good girls? They overstay in dead end relationships. Dead end. Eh. Dead end. Eh, eh. Learn when this thing is a dead end and save yourself time. Hey, now you and I, Benjamin, I'm a lady studying IT and most guys are intimidated by the ladies and feel such as tech, engineering, etc. When I want to date, I don't tell that guy what I do until I learn how he thinks. I'm still a woman and I need a man. Thank you. But I want to tell you that the fact that you're studying IT, the fact that you've you have that goal that is, you, 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 are, you are like in a field that is male dominated, also gives you advantage. You meet more men. Mm -hmm. Don't look at it just as a disadvantage. But also don't hide the parts of your identity that you know they make you who you are. Because again, you'll end up attracting people who can't stand it. Yeah. So just speed up the, the activity in your dating warehouse. Make sure more candidates are coming. You only need one hit. Stop being disappointed by so many misses. Okay. You just need one hit. Yeah. So continue the Peruso, continue the searching. You meet one who was looking for exactly a person like you. All right. Someone here says, Hey Joyce, when you empower a woman, she becomes unsubmissive. How true is this? Ask Zulu. Is it you who empowers her? She came with her own power. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> so <laughs> listen, no woman changes because she got money. She was like that. If you meet an arrogant woman, it's not money that made her arrogant. She was like that. Mm. So as a man, you want a woman who is happy to follow your lead. Yeah. Look for that attribute. Once you find that, now you are free to now build her up. Yeah. Make her more. Make her more. Let, let her fly. And she'll fly with your name. She'll make you be more respectable. Mm -hmm. It's in your interest as a man to get a woman who has the right values, then empower her. Okay. Peter from West says, Good morning, Joyce and Benjamin. I'm loving the topic. Benjamin is right in that successful women don't need cowardly men. But then again, they set too high and unrealistic expectations from men. And majority don't give men the ample time to prove their worth. If she is too successful and she wants a man who is better than her, how long will it take to be better than her? And that's a real concern. He's highlighting a mistake those great women might make. Mm -hmm. The, I want to tell you that women who have, and when you say successful woman, you mean a woman who has built some fortune early in life. Okay. Basically, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about a financial uh, advancement, career advancement. Mm -hmm. She has made significant steps in life. Those women, we, we want to ask them that you need a man who you think alike. He may not be where you are financially. As I said, some men have had to carry many more burdens from home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have had to, first of all, spend mm -hmm. on filling up gaps <laughs> that were existing. Mm -hmm. So they will pick speed later in life than you. But you should sense whether he's moving at the same speed mentally as you. Okay. Okay. Let me get to maybe one more here. Tina from Matunda says, Hey Joyce, great topic there. I'm 24 and married to a 32-year-old uh, man. He keeps telling me I'm not my age, that I'm so mature. Sometimes he lets me decide 
uh, for what we need to have. Like most of the things I am to advise on what to do, is he doing the right thing? She seems concerned that she's almost the one taking leadership. Yeah, you, you need to you need you need you need to be concerned when a man is telling you you're not behaving your age, you're mature, you're so ahead. Where is he himself? He should be happy that you're bringing maturity to the relationship, mm. that you're bringing ideas. But not insight. to sit back because of yes, it. or not try to make you feel guilty or slow you down. So you're supposed to have that conversation with him. You're supposed to ask him what he means when he brings that up. Mm. I don't think you're supposed to just sit there and wonder what is happening. Wow. Hey, Benjamin, <sighs> Asante Sana. Uh, I think. Shiro from Rero says, I also think that one should not drag around a man who sits around pitying themselves. Well, okay. Well, okay. All of us have things to work on, on both sides of the divide, both men and women. Um, uh, but interesting point is that you've, you've, you've raised there. I think for many women, they should aspire to be these successful women. There's nothing wrong with ambition, as we spoke about this morning. Uh, but keep it in check. But also to the men, you know, step up to the plate. That's right. Yeah. That's right. How can people find you? All right. Facebook, Benjamin Zulu KE. Benjamin Zulu KE at Facebook, on Facebook, and the all other platforms, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Benjamin Zulu KE. Also Gmail, Benjamin Zulu KE at gmail.com. All right. Well, Asante Sana for your company. And uh, we're going to take a break now. Coming up next, we have Dennis joining us in studio as he continues his fitness journey here on Full Circle with Joyce. We'll see you shortly. <laughs>